Hello I'm Mr. Over Engineered and today we are going to try machining tungsten carbide on a home build CNC milling machine with an $1 diamond grinding pen. Let's find out if this actually works. We use those diamond grinding tools at work. Together with a pneumatic grinding pen they are great to modify tungsten carbide cold forming tools. So naturally one day. The idea came to mind why not use one of those very cheap diamond tools on my DIY CNC machine to machine tungsten carbide. And one day maybe even produce a complete mold. If you are interested to learn more about cold forming of self-drilling screws, like the one shown on the right, then please let me know in the comments below and I will make a video about it. For the first trails we have a block 30 by 30 by 20 mm big carbide. To test the capabilities of those diamond tools I plan to try machining a slot and a round hole. To prove the material we have here is really tungsten carbide, we can calculate the theoretical mass which would be 281 grams, and compare it to the actual weight of the block. We see the calculated 281 grams are close to the measured 269 grams. The weight difference most likely comes from the fact that one side of the block is already machined, using Fusion 360. It is time to generate the tool paths and exporting the G-code for the CNC machine. For the slot and hole a 2D adaptive was chosen. The slot should not be a big problem since we do not need to plunge into the material and can come in from the front. For the plunge into the hole a helical tool path was chosen. Since this operation is more critical the helix angle is set to 0.02 degrees. Now it is time to set up the carbide block by using tape and super glue. The G code is loaded into Mach 4. And the zero point is set. Now we are ready for the first test. After the first passes I slowed down the feed rate because I was worried to overheat the tool. When the coolant system of the machine is finished we will come back and try to increase the speed in a future video. After stopping the process before the slot was completely finished, because the machine run for already one and a half hours and it got late, we can inspect the result. After measuring with the slot we reached 5.99 mm in width and 3.01 mm in depth. 0.01 mm away from the nominal dimension. If you also amazed by this first result and precision then please consider to like and subscribe to not miss future videos about carbide machining. After achieving such a great result with the slotting operation, I'm excited to try the hole.
and it works again. Just amazing. To machine one of the hardest materials at home. After finishing the helical plunging operation, the hole is getting enlarged in a spiral by 2 mm. Finally the machining operation is finished. It took four and a half hours to machine a six millimeter hole with a depth of three millimeter. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you next time.